So this one is my DIY doormat. Um, I love the project. I wanted to try it. So me and my daughter were working on it. We're trying to make the um, size for the mat. Give it a look of design. To make sure you cut the ends of each piece so you could have a perfect square going around. See it? Nice square. Now we're measuring to make sure that the um, the words we print from um, Cricut fit the mat perfectly. And this is freezer paper that we get from Walmart. But weeding that out, again, this is tedious. My daughter was helping me weeding it out. Because right now what we're doing is making a stencil. So that's the stencil we just make and now we're going to put it on the mat. This is the second part of the scripture. This is for mat number two. So now you just cut your paper to make sure that it lines up properly. And now we're rearranging the um, the tape so you could um, try to keep the paper together and get maybe a bigger design on the mat than what we originally had. So again, cut off all the excess pieces. So if you don't do that and make it evenly on the mat, when you spray it, those pieces can come off on the color. You don't want that. So now because of our stencil, we have to take the pieces that we left on the first sheet and now add it in the letter so you can have the letters fully defined. So example, the piece for the A to make it look like an A when you spray it. The same thing with the 9. Now we're going to put some in the D's and the E and the L.
and now we're trying this um the cricket iron i saw this on a tutorial don't do it it don't work it caused more problem than not We use a small one, then we decide to try the big one to maybe cover more pieces, but mm -mm. look. Mm -mm. Again, this is me trying to use the iron. Do not do it. So now what my daughter is doing is using our um, sewing pins and they're not reusable. And trying to keep the letters down close to the mat. So when you spread it, the, um, the color don't go underneath. You get to see the letters properly. And now we're gonna start spraying. We brought the mat outside to the um, tarp. And as you see, this is the Flex Seal. We got it from Walmart. The freezer paper is from Walmart. So is the painter's tape. And we were able to use one can. Again, as I mentioned before, and I keep saying, this is a tedious project. It took a while, but the end product was well worth it. Yeah, we we'll leave it for about not even about two minutes and then we'll start pulling it off before it dry. The pins really did help. If we didn't have done the project part would have been ruined. I love the crooked iron for everything else, but not that. See, so finished product. It was well worth it. It looks really good. It's clean and you can endure for the weather outside. All right. Let me know what you think. Leave a comment. Subscribe.